the last presentation we saw the construction of JFET and now I will explain the working of JFET. I have in case number 1 voltage VGS voltage VGS is equal to 0 volts this means we are applying 0 voltage to the gate and in case number 2 in case number 2 VGS is negative this means VGS is less than 0 volts so for case number 2 negative voltage is applied at the gate and for both these cases voltage VDS is positive the voltage between the drain terminal and the source terminal is positive so it is greater than 0 volts and in this lecture we will discuss only the case number 1 the case number 2 we will discuss in the coming presentation in case number 1 VGS is equal to 0 volts this means potential of the gate terminal is same as the potential of the source terminal and because of this reason the potential difference between gate and source is equal to 0 volts so I will connect the gate terminal with the source terminal let's connect the gate terminal with the source terminal like this and VGS is equal to 0 volts so I will connect the ground to the source the potential of ground is equal to 0 volts so VGS is now equal to 0 volts positive negative VDS is greater than 0 it is positive and let's say VDS is equal to some positive voltage VDD VDD is some positive voltage so we have a voltage source connected between the drain and source whose magnitude is equal to VDD and the polarity you can see positive negative VDD the drain is connected to the positive terminal and the source is connected to the negative terminal and because of this reason electrons in the AND channel will drift towards the drain this is very easy thing to understand we are connecting drain to the positive terminal electrons are negatively charged so drain will attract the electrons and electrons will drift from bottom to up and the conventional current the conventional current ID will be developed and this is the direction of conventional current ID we already know there are two types of currents the first one is the conventional current and the second one is the natural current the conventional current is having the direction opposite to the direction of electrons and the natural current is having the direction same as the direction of electrons we can also define the conventional current as the current having the direction same as the direction of positive charge movement so this is all about the conventional current and the natural current ID is the conventional current the cause of ID is movement of electrons from bottom to up from source to drain and the electrons are moving because we have connected VDD across the drain and source terminals now we will talk about depletion layer what will happen to the depletion layer when we connect VDD in the circuit as soon as VDS or VDD is applied in the circuit the width of depletion layer will change the width of depletion layer will remain same at the bottom but it will increase it will increase like this at the top the width of depletion layer will increase at the top but remain almost same at the bottom I will explain the reason for this this end channel is providing the resistance to the current flow and we can consider the end channel as these four resistances this terminal here is the drain terminal this terminal is the source terminal and let's say VDD 
is equal to plus 2 volts this means potential at this point is equal to 2 volts and potential at this point is equal to 0 volts and this 0 to 2 volts is divided across these 4 resistances let's say these 4 resistances are same and having the value equal to small r so r equivalent the equivalent resistance is equal to r plus r plus r plus r which is equal to 4 times r and uh, 2 volts is divided across 4 r so we can say across r 0 0.5 volt is divided so when we move from top to bottom then at this point the potential is equal to 1.5 volts because 0 0.5 volts is the drop across this resistance so 0 0.5 subtracted from 2 volts will give us 1.5 volts in the same way at this point the voltage is equal to 1 volts at this point 0 0.5 volts and at so you can see how voltage is divided across the AND channel here the potential is equal to 1.5 volts here the potential is equal to 0 0.5 volts now let's talk about the depletion layer potential at this terminal is equal to 0 volts potential here is equal to 1.5 volts so depletion layer will increase the width of depletion layer will increase because the positive voltage 1.5 volt is applied to the n type material and 0 volt which is less than 1.5 volt is applied to the p type material so the pn junction is definitely reverse biased and when we increase the reverse bias potential the width of depletion layer increases now if we see this 0 volt and 1.5 volt definitely the reverse bias potential is lesser as compared to 0 volts and 1.5 volts so the width of depletion layer will increase but not that much so this was the reason because of which width of depletion layer is more at the top as compared to the bottom now i will move to the next part of this lecture in which we will talk about symbol we will talk about symbol of jfet i forgot to explain this topic in the last lecture so i am covering it here the symbol of jfet is very easy we first make one thick vertical line and to this line on the right side we have the drain this is D representing the drain and then we have the source S the main thing is the gate this is the gate and now we will enclose this inside a circle like this but how we can differentiate between n channel jfet and p channel jfet if you remember the symbols for npn transistor and pnp transistor then in case of npn transistor the ammeter current the ammeter current is having the direction from base to ammeter and to represent this direction of current we have a small arrow in the ammeter branch and in case of PNP transistor the direction of ammeter current is from ammeter to base and to represent this we have the arrow in the ammeter branch we will try to form JFET symbol in case of JFET symbol we represent the direction of gate current this direction here is the direction of current ID but we represent the direction of gate current in case of n channel jfet the direction of gate current is like this i g is the gate current so in n channel jfet we have a small arrow having this direction and in case of p channel jfet in case of p channel jfet the gate current is having this direction so we have arrow like this so this is how we differentiate between n channel jfet and p channel jfet now we will talk about gate current in this case 
this is the direction of gate current IG and it is equal to 0 amps. The gate current is equal to 0 amps because PN junction, the PN junction is reverse biased and we already know when PN junction is reverse biased, the current through PN junction is equal to 0 amps. So because of this reason, the gate current is equal to 0 amps and this is one very important point. Previous lecture we saw the working of JFET when VGS gate to source voltage when VGS gate to source voltage was equal to 0 volt and VDS drain to source voltage was equal to VDD where VDD is some positive voltage. Now in this presentation we will discuss pinch of voltage but first we will discuss what we have learnt in the last lecture. The gate terminal and the source terminal are having the same potential because of this VGS is equal to 0 volt VGS is equal to VG minus VS when VG is same as VS the potential difference is equal to 0 volt so I will connect the gate terminal to the source terminal and I will connect ground to the source. VDS is equal to VDD where VDD is some positive voltage. So I will connect the positive terminal of the battery. This is the positive terminal of the battery to the drain terminal and the negative terminal and negative terminal to the source terminal and this voltage source is equal to VDD which is equal to VDS and as soon as VDS is introduced in the circuit the electrons present in the N channel will drift towards the drain and because of this reason the drain current ID is induced in the circuit. Now we will discuss the effect on the depletion region. We are having N channel JFET and in N channel JFET P type material is embedded in the N type material and because of this two depletion regions are also formed. This N channel is providing resistance to current ID so we can consider the N channel as four resistances connected in series. This four resistances are same R, small r. So equivalent resistance is equal to 4R and let's say VDD is equal to 2 volts. So 2 volts are divided across 4R or we can say drop across resistance R is equal to 0 0.5 volts. 2 volt is the potential at this point and at this point the potential is equal to 1.5 volt because 0 0.5 volt is the drop 0.5 subtracted from 2 volt is equal to 1.5 volt. In the same way at this point the potential is equal to 1 volt. At this point the potential is 0 0.5 volt and at this point it is equal to 0 volt. So this is how the potential is distributed across the N channel. You can connect this terminal here and this terminal here. So this whole arrangement will go in the N channel. And we can say that at this point the potential is equal to 1.5 volts, 1.5 volts and at this point the potential is equal to 0 0.5 volts, 0 0.5 volts. Now if we talk about the PN junction formed between this P type material and the N type material, it is reverse biased because here the potential is equal to 0 volt and at this point the potential is equal to 1.5 volt. So P type material is connected to the low potential and the N type material is on the high potential. So the PN junction is reverse biased because of this reason the width of depletion layer will increase at the top 
and it will remain almost same at the bottom it is almost same at the bottom because potential here is equal to 0.5 volt so the reverse biasing potential is not high at the bottom so depletion layer will increase at the top and it will remain almost same at the bottom so this was the small revision of the last lecture and now we will start with pinch off voltage on increasing vds the current id will also increase on increasing vds id the drain current will also increase and also the width of depletion region if vds is increased to a level where it appears that the two depletion regions are touching each other the condition is called as pinch off and the corresponding voltage vds is called as pinch off voltage i will revise this point again on increasing vds the width of depletion layer will also increase and if vds is increased to a level where it appears that the two depletion regions are touching each other the condition is called as pinch off pinch off and the corresponding voltage vds is called as pinch off voltage when you see the two depletion regions it will look like a pinch so what is a pinch we will first discuss the word pinch pinch is an act of gripping an object or substance between two fingers from the shown figure it is very easy to understand what is a pinch what is a pinch pinch is an act of gripping an object or substance between two fingers and when you see the two depletion regions you will find it is like a pinch because of this reason we call vds pinch of voltage pinch of voltage is denoted by vp pinch of voltage is denoted by v subscript p from the word pinch off it seems current id current id is pinched is pinched off between the two depletion regions and reduced to 0 amps but it is not true in reality the two depletion regions will never touch each other the channel is still there but the width is very small and because of this reason the current density will increase now what is the reason because of which these two depletion regions are not touching each other the reason is the cause the cause is voltage drop across these resistances and the voltage is dropping across these resistances because of current id and when these two depletion regions will touch each other id will become zero id will become zero amps and when id will become zero amps drop across resistance r will also become zero and when drop will become zero potential here is equal to zero volts so n side is connected to zero volt p side is also connected to zero volt so the pn junction is not reverse biased and hence the width of depletion region will not increase so this is the reason because of which the two depletion regions will never touch each other now we will plot the graph between current id and voltage vds y axis is current id and x axis is voltage vds and we are plotting this graph when vgs is equal to 0 volts initially on increasing vds current id will increase linearly like this the current will increase linearly and when vds is equal to vp the pinch of voltage let's say this voltage here is the pinch of voltage so when vds is equal to vp current id will become constant current id will become constant and this constant current we will call i d s s the resistance in this portion of the plot is constant resistance is constant after vp when vds is greater than vp the resistance is equal to infinity because plot is having slope slope 
equal to zero and resistance is one by slope so resistance is equal to infinity so this is the plot between id and vds now we will discuss few important points first we will talk about idss what is idss and why do we call it idss idss is the maximum drain current this is very very important point idss is the maximum drain current for a jfet and we can define it as the drain current when vgs vgs is equal to 0 volt and vds vds is greater than mod of pinch voltage so these are the two conditions defining the current idss it is the maximum drain current and we are representing this current as idss because this is the current from drain to source you can see id is the current from drain to source because of this reason we call it ids drain to source and this s stands for the reason vgs is equal to zero the source is short circuited the input side is short circuited so the second s is for vgs equal to zero so this is the reason for calling this current idss now there is one question what will happen if you increase vds beyond vp what will happen to the depletion layer and to the drain current when you increase vds beyond vp this is the homework problem for you you can easily find out effect on id from this plot and from the explanation i have given you can also find out effect on depletion layer so this is all for this lecture i will end this lecture here see you in the next one